And so I got a little bit curious about chicken nuggets. It almost seemed like they were habituating, that you know, kids were addicted to the chicken nuggets. So we took a look at uh, these, and um, so I talked with one of our pathologists, and I said, you know, the only way to really look at a meat product is actually to do like we do with the human body, is to actually do a histopathological study of it, section it just like we would with a piece of meat from a human being that uh, we were doing an autopsy on. So he said, that's a good idea, let's do it. And as soon as he did the, the, the autopsy on the chicken nugget, he said, you've got to come look at this. I can't believe it. Uh, there's very little meat in this chicken nugget. It's mostly other stuff. And the other stuff was mostly fat. So what we have done is we've taken a very healthy product, lean white meat, and processed it, wrapped it in a bread shell, which wasn't even in, in our calculation. The bread was taken off of our calculation. But wrapped this healthy piece of meat and gooed it up with a lot of other products that have a very, very high content of fat, sugar, and salt, and kids love that combination. I was floored. I was astounded. Actually seeing this under the microscope is a whole lot different than reading numbers uh, on a web page or something like that. I had seen these broad estimates of how much actual lean meat were in these things versus carbohydrates and fats, and it just didn't really register with me. But when I actually saw the pictures of this stained, it became very, very clear that this was a misnomer. These aren't chicken nuggets because the predominant component of them aren't chicken. All chicken nuggets are not the same. There are fast food outlets that have very healthy chicken nuggets. But when you fry any food, you've got a problem because you add a great deal of fat to it. So you can get baked chicken uh, that is very, very healthy in a number of fast food outlets. But when you bread it and when you mix it up with other things, then you adulterate the product. And what's been done with chicken nuggets is frequently uh, when chicken is processed, there's some chicken left on the bone. And you can actually vibrate this stuff off. And when you get that sort of chicken leftovers, you can put it together and mix it up with other substances and come out with a goo that you can fry that is a chicken nugget. So it's not actually, it's a combination of chicken and carbohydrates and fats and other uh, things that make it glue together. It's almost like super glue uh, that we're eating and feeding to our grandkids in some fast food restaurants.